I went to wake Lauren up for school that morning, just like a typical day, and um, I found her unresponsive. The ambulance um, took us to a local hospital, and it was um, Lauren was given a CAT scan and immediately um, found to have a substantial bleed in her brain. And at that point, I was given two options of where to go, and I said Yale. And I can tell from the doctor's response um, because they said they couldn't handle it there that that was the right choice. When she arrived at Yale New Haven Hospital, she was about as sick as a kid could possibly be. She was in a coma, and we had scanned her, and we saw some pretty dire findings. And so, even, even en route to the hospital, we had already started to give her medications and do whatever it took to control the swelling in her brain. When we arrived in the pediatric emergency room, um, there was probably what felt like 40 people in the room with Lauren immediately, and it was just incredible um, the amount of attention that she was given. And so we got her up into a room as fast as we could, got the swelling under control, and then we did an intervention to try to help with the swelling. And over the next week, week and a half, we just battled her condition um, and gave it everything we had. The swelling got to a point where we were starting to reach the limit of what we could do medically. And the next move would have been to remove half of her skull to create more room for swelling. And as I was talking to the family about how this was the next move we were gonna have to do, the tides turned and all the numbers started to kind of normalize. It was as if she heard us talking about this. And then the numbers came back down to normal over the next day or two. We were getting educated. So we kind of understood what they were doing, why they were doing it, versus being this kind of, you know, parents out in the corner, you know, dazed and confused. It was never like that. It was complete transparency. They talked about the challenges, what they were gonna do. They discussed different methods and different ways to go about it. And we were exposed to all of it. And I just thought that was truly amazing on their part to bring us in. Lauren didn't speak for about eight weeks, not until no one at that hospital heard her speak. And finally, when she got home, um, therapies were continuing and she, she found her voice again, literally. When this happened, right, like all we could do was hope and pray that she was gonna get the best care. And I think without question, that's, you know, that's exactly what happened, and she's skating today. It kind of just like brings me happiness, and it's fun winning competitions. She's here and, and thriving. Being able to take a kid that's in dire straits and return them to their parents in better shape than when you got them, is, it doesn't get much better than that. The experience that we had with everybody that cared for her at Yale New Haven Children's Hospital was extraordinary. These people are treating Lauren as if they would their own child. Like there was that level of care. I guess at the end of the day, when you ask the question, the, the, the short answer is, as a family, we have a future.